Hello and welcome to our webinar as we offer a preview of the 2018 National Leadership Conferences. The best and the brightest of FBLA, FBLA Middle Level, and PBL will meet in Baltimore, Maryland this summer to compete in leadership events, share their successes, and learn new ideas about shaping their career future through workshops and exhibits. This four-day conference is considered the pinnacle of the FBLA PBL experience. I am FBLA PBL Membership Director Lisa Smothers. Joining me this afternoon is Conference Director Richard Bowen. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll answer questions at the end of this presentation. We're here to help you prepare to elevate your future at this year's conferences in the Baltimore Inner Harbor. World-class museums, thriving arts and culture districts, history, music, and more make Baltimore the urban jewel of the Chesapeake country. Much of the city's tourism centers around the Inner Harbor, with the National Aquarium being Maryland's top tourist destination. Baltimore Harbor's restoration has made it a city of boats, with several historic ships and other attractions on display and open for the public to visit. The USS Constellation, the last Civil War era vessel afloat, is docked at the head of the Inner Harbor. Also docked is the lightship Chesapeake, which for decades marked the entrance to Chesapeake Bay and the Seven Foot Knoll Lighthouse. Other popular tourist destinations throughout the city include Oriole Park at Camden Yards, Fort McHenry, Mount Vernon, and Fells Point. There's also museums such as the Walters Art Museum, the Baltimore Museum of Industry, and the B&O Railroad Museum. Later in this session, we'll introduce you to special discounted tours that we are offering not only to different locations in the city, but also to Washington, D.C., Six Flags, and of course, the Baltimore Zoo. Now here's Richard to tell you more about this year's NLCs. Thank you for joining us today for an overview of the upcoming NLC in Baltimore. PBL starts June 23rd and FBLA starts June 28th. Both FBLA and FBLA middle level members attend the FBLA National Leadership Conference. PBL conference activities will take place at the Baltimore C Convention Center, except for the opening and closing sessions and the regional meetings. The FBLA NLC will use the Baltimore Convention Center with regional meetings at surrounding hotels. Make sure you allow enough time to get from point A to point B. Walking time from your guest room to competitions, workshops, voting, etc. And check the busing schedule if you are staying at a hotel not within walking distance of the Baltimore Convention Center. Please note that all information we are sharing today is available on our website at fbla.org forward slash NLC. Back to you, Lisa. Thank you, Richard. What can members and advisors expect at this year's NLC? From motivating keynote speakers to regional and national awards, this year's conference promises to be the highlight of the year. FBLA and PBL members who qualified for the National Leadership Conference will compete with the nation's best for a coveted top 10 award in their competitive events. Many of these awards come with cash prizes provided by our sponsors and will be presented on the final day of our conference during the Awards of Excellence program. An important and exciting part of the NLC is the election of national officers. Candidates display literature at their campaign booths where members can talk to them about their platforms. Visit exhibits to get information for colleges, fundraising companies, and technology vendors. This is your chance to network and gather new ideas for successful chapter activities. Show your state and regional spirit at the opening session where the first place winners of the membership awards will receive their plaques. March of Dimes awards, scholarships, and business person of the year will also be presented. The next day, attend your regional campaign rally and recognition session and cheer on the regional membership award winners. You can find more information on all of these activities on the NLC section of our website. Now here's Richard to talk about a special opportunity. Join members and advisors to celebrate FBLA PB PBL at Camden Yards on June 25th or June 27th. The Baltimore Orioles have home baseball games in the evening. 
Oriole Park at Camden Yards, the beautiful baseball-only facility in downtown Baltimore became the official home of the Orioles in 1992. The one-time railroad center is 12 minutes west by foot from the city's inner harbor and only two blocks from the birthplace of baseball's most legendary hero, George Herman Babe Ruth. While there, you can get your Orioles gear straight from the Orioles team store, including caps, t-shirts, jerseys, and more. We are offering discounted tickets, so be sure to purchase yours early. Look for details on our website soon. A great way for members to enhance their NLC experience is by getting a behind the scenes look at a, as a conference intern. You have the chance to assist national staff and officers with everything from regional sessions to photography, award setup, and more. For the second year, FBLA middle-level members are eligible to apply for NLC internships. The deadline for intern applications is 5 p.m. Eastern time on May 11th. So learn more at fbla.org slash NLC. The conference begins with the Institute for Leaders, an intensive day and a half training program, which starts the day before each NLC. It's where you will find our most dedicated members, outstanding speakers, and powerful business leadership training. Who should attend the IFL? Chapter and state officers? New or veteran advisors? Aspiring entrepreneurs? Or any future business leaders who knows his or his ambitions will require innovative leadership should attend? More information on the IFL program is on our website. Please remember that NLC attendees, this includes members, advisors, and guests, are required to be in business attire unless otherwise noted throughout the conference. The FBLA PBL dress code should be strictly followed for all conference activities. The voting sessions, followed by the March of Dimes Mini March for Babies on day four, are casual. Comfortable shoes can be worn to get around the hotel, but remember to bring your dress shoes with you for events. Business attire is required for all workshops, competitive events, the exhibit hall, and other conference functions. Just to clarify, open-toed shoes and slingbacks are allowed, but flip-flops, sandals, and bare feet are not. So ladies, please don't be a slave to fashion. Buy comfortable dress shoes that you can bear to wear throughout the day. This year, for the first time, we are piloting six competitive events at the National Leadership Conference for FBLA middle-level members. Two winners for each event will receive medals at the NLC. Each state may send one competitor in each event except for community service project, which can be one team of one to three members. Check with your state advisor. All FBLA middle-level students competing in elevator speech and community service project will present. Preliminary presentations will be on June 30th in the afternoon and final presentations will be on July 1st, beginning at 8.30 a.m. Any FBLA middle-level student attending the FBLA National Conference can compete in one of the four following open events. Business communication, business etiquette, digital citizenship, and FBLA facts. These will be held on June 30th from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. All members will also have the opportunity to attend Zoom Academy. The event kicks off with a large group networking energizer to set the energy and tone for the entire academy. Students process, dialogue, and interact in a large group, small group, and individual settings. Each state may also submit one entry for the Young Leader Award, and all members who achieve the LEAD Gold Level will receive their pins in Baltimore. There'll be a special FBLA Middle Level Awards program on July 1st, beginning at 3 p.m. We also have great keynote speakers for our opening sessions. The PBL keynote speaker, Sherry Wynn, is a leading success coach and a two-time Olympian. She has written five books and is a recognized authority on leadership and team development. She will stimulate you to become an agent of change. An FBLA speaker, Shane Felden, is an internationally recognized youth empowerment expert and social entrepreneur. As founder and CEO of Count Me In, Shane has impacted over 10 million youth in over 100 countries. This fall, you'll see Shane in a new television series, Undercover High, premiering on A&E. 
Following these outstanding speakers, you will hear from the candidates for FBLA and PBL National President, Secretary, and Treasurer at the campaign rally at the respective FBLA and PBL conferences. Back to you, Richard. This year's regional campaign rally and recognition sessions will feature all membership and program recognition awards for your region, including presentation of the BAA America, CMAP President, and FBLA CSA Achievement Level pins. The session begins with 30-second success stories presented by your state presidents. You will also hear from the candidates seeking to lead you in the next year of the as your regional vice president. All local chapter voting delegates will have the opportunity to ask questions of the vice president candidates. All five regional campaign rallies and recognition sessions for PBL will be at the Baltimore Hilton. For FBLA, they will be at the Hilton, the Hyatt, Renaissance Harbor Place, and the Baltimore Convention Center. The FBLA PBL Professional Division will again be offering resume critiquing at the exhibit booth for both the FBLA and the PBL National Leadership Conferences. Be sure to bring a printed copy of your resume and check the conference program for times. And PBL members, don't miss the networking session with our PD members on day three from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. For seniors, PBL will be hosting an event, uh, uh, excuse me, an exhibit booth so that you can ask questions about how to continue your membership in our organization. There will also be a senior networking session on June 30th from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. where you'll be able to network with your peers. Now here's Lisa. Thanks, Richard. Joining the fun for the March of Dimes Mini March for Babies. This year's Mini Marches will take place on day four of each conference, again following the voting session. National partner Lee DeFeed is partnering with the Maryland Food Bank. They are asking FBLA members to bring non perishable food items on June 28th to be donated. And be sure to check out the silent auction during each conference. If you are interested in donating an item to the auction, please submit the donation form found at fbla.org slash NLC. Back to you, Richard. As you plan your trip for the NLC, remember to check out our official travel partners for exclusive FBLA PBL discounts. Information on all these discounts can be found on the NLC section of our website. Be sure to check out the discounted Maryland tours offered by our official NLC tour provider, Baltimore Renator. Tours offered include a day at Six Flags, various Baltimore tours, or a day in Washington, D.C. And don't forget, you can attend a Baltimore Orioles baseball game on June 25th or 27th. Voting will occur on day four of each NLC. PBL national and regional voting will take place simultaneously and begin at 8.30 a.m. For FBLA, national voting will be at 8 a.m., followed by regional voting at 9 a.m. We are asking all voting delegates to report at least 15 to 30 minutes prior to their session. All attendees may attend, all, I'm sorry, rather, all conference attendees may attend the voting session. A special seating area will be reserved for voting delegates. There will also be a labeled area for spectators. Electronic voting will be used in all sessions. Delegates should bring data-enabled devices to the sessions for voting. All delegates must be in the voting room during the designating voting times to cast their votes. Reminder, again, the attire for voting is casual since the March of Dimes mini walk follows these sessions. Our conference, our, each conference wraps up with our Awards of Excellence ceremony where members, advisors, and guests will find out the winners of our open events and who the top 10 winners in each competitive event are. Following this, the new national officers are announced. Here's Richard. On screen are some important dates for the conference. These can also be found on our website, fbla.org forward slash NLC. They include dead deadlines for internship and candidate applications, registration and voting, and hotel reservation cutoff. If these dates are not met, 
your students may not be able to vote, run for national office, or have events prejudged. And be sure to download the official conference app to create your personal NLC schedule, keep up with social media, and see finalists as they are posted, and so much more. Just search FBLA PBL National Conferences in your app store and look for this icon. The FBLA and PBL NLC guides with schedules and more information will be added one week prior to each NLC. Okay, it looks like we had a number of questions submitted during the presentation and we'll start getting to those now. The first question is from Marissa in Wisconsin. She is an FBLA and wants to know what the difference is between FBLA state voting delegates and FBLA local chapter voting delegates. I'll go ahead and take this one. For FBLA, local chapter voting delegates vote on the election of the regional vice president. The number of votes that your chapter received is determined by your chapter membership and your chapter having paid dues by March 1st. Less than 50 paid members receive two votes, 50 to 103 votes, and more than 104 votes. Names do not need to be submitted for the voting delegates for these. Your chapter advisor can choose any member that's registered for the conference to serve as a delegate. Um, these are automatically determined just by numbers in our system based on, again, the number of members you have and based on your registration for the conference. These members receive red voting delegate ribbons and must wear them in order to ask questions of the regional vice presidents during the Q&A session. And that Q&A session will take place in your regional recognition and campaign rally. Um, what you need to remember is no chapter may have more votes than the number of members registered for the conference. What this means is if your chapter has 112 members and is entitled to four votes, but you only have three members attending the conference and voting delegates have to be students, that means that you will, would only have three voting delegates. For PBL, everybody's a local chapter voting delegate. The only difference between FBLA and PBL is PBL has the April 15th uh, membership deadline. Now for FBLA, they also have state voting delegates. State voting delegates vote on the election of the national president, secretary, treasurer, and any bylaw amendments. Each state advisor or chair can nominate two members to serve as a state voting delegate. And this is done prior to the NLC. And for state advisors that may be listening, this is found um, as a form in uh, the state advisor key contact area. These delegates receive neon green voting delegate ribbons and those are given to the state advisor and they distribute those to their appropriate voting delegates. That was a great question. Okay, the next question is from Matthew in Arkansas. He's staying at one of the airport hotels and wants to know if shuttles will be provided for the conference. Richard, can you take this one? Sure. Um, we will be providing transportation to those ones for the airport properties and others that are outside the Baltimore downtown area. Um, this would be for the FBLA portion of the conference. PBL conference, those are all located around the perimeter of the Baltimore Convention Center. Um, so we will have daily service um, that will run through all um, conference hours of activities. And those will usually be posted um, just within a few weeks before the conference. Great. I hope that answers your question, Matthew. It looks like the next question is from Susan, who is an FBLA state officer. She'd like to know if there are any activities at the conference just for state officers. Susan, that's a great question. Um, both the FBLA and the PBL National Leadership Conference is going to have a, offer a state officer meeting in which you'll be able to network with all of the other state officers from across the country, share ideas and kind of strategize how you can jumpstart the new year coming up. So look for times in the program and these meetings will be conducted by the FBLA and PBL national officers at their appropriate conference. In addition, I would really recommend that if you're a state officer that and you're an FBLA that you attend the FBLA Institute for Leaders because they actually offer a state officer track. And that helps you with kind of training ideas and helps you kind of advance your state to the next level. So check out the NLC conference guide on the conference section of our website for more information. Okay, the next question is from Calvin in Mississippi. He wants to know where to look to find out what hotel his state is assigned to. Richard, can you take this one? Sure. On our website, underneath the conference um, page of the, 
website. Um, you will have the NLC conference information area. When you click on that, you'll come up with a screen that shows all the different components uh, of information that we have on the conference. And at the top of that, you'll see the ones for hotel assignments for the PBL and then the FBLA divisions. And below that, you'll have the links for the actual online housing reservations um, that can be accessed um, for all of PBL. Um, and then for the FBLA conference, there are states that manage their block or use a travel agent. Uh, those are also noted on there for those to contact your state uh, key contact for any information on your housing. And otherwise, if, if it's just individual reservations or schools, chapters, then those can be used on the links where your um, state is assigned. That's some great information, Richard. Looks like we have time for one more question. This question is from Nicholas in Florida. He wants to know what an open event is. Um, I'll go ahead and take this one. So open events offer tests that members can take without pre-qualification or pre-registration. So you don't have to be a state winner. You just have to be a paid member of FBLA, FBLA middle level, or PBL, and you just show up at the time in the program the test is assigned. So FBLA middle level members and FBLA members may only take one open event. PBL may take, members can take two open events. Testing is gonna be on June 25th for PBL and June 30th for FBLA and FBLA middle level. So let me take a minute to go over the open events that will be offered, just kind of so you know what to expect. The events for PBL are advertising, agribusiness, construction management, healthcare administration, and political science. FBLA events are forensics accounting, political science, public relations, Python programming, retail management, and supply chain management. And then again, for FBLA middle level, it's business communication, business etiquette, digital citizenship, and FBLA facts. So that's all the time that we have for today. Remember, we are recording this webinar, and it's going to be available on our YouTube channel later this week. You can find all of our past webinars also archived on our YouTube channel, and they're really a great resource to include in your next chapter meeting. I would recommend um, for you, for any of your students that are going to the National Leadership Conference advisors or local officers, if you're listening, this would be a great resource for you, this webinar, to go ahead and play the recorded version at a special meeting for your delegates you're taking to the National Leadership Conference. This helps them know a little bit what to expect and get an insider's view on things. Again, that's all we have for today. Thank you for attending, and we look forward to seeing you elevate your future in Baltimore. Good evening, everyone.